Welcome back to the channel. My name is Joe. Today we've got a short little video talking about a really simple, cheap, and easy way to add some DIY tie down points in the back of your 4Runner or in the back of any SUV. Stay tuned. So I did this uh, about a year ago before we went on our trip to Tennessee, uh, mainly so that I could tie down my Costway refrigerator. Uh, if you have any questions about that, I'll drop a couple links down below, uh, videos I've made on that. Uh, and uh, to tie down a little bit extra stuff while we were on the trails in Tennessee to keep it from bouncing around all over the place. Um, there are some tie down points in the back of the 4Runner right now, but they weren't really where I wanted to, to use them. So I picked up some of this. This is Unistrut. Uh, they use it in industrial applications. You can find it at any hardware store. Uh, usually they'll put it on ceilings or walls and then they will uh, bolt electrical or plumbing uh, fixtures to them. Uh, they have little uh, tracks, you can see that right there, um, where you can actually slide things in that are basically nuts um, that will hold themselves into place usually comes galvanized like gray finish sometimes it comes in a green finish um, I bedlined this aerosol bedline and um, it worked extremely well I do get questions every once in a while what this is uh, it never occurred to me that people wouldn't know what Unistrut was so let me show you how I adhere or uh, bolted it uh, into the back of the 4Runner if you don't have a 4Runner maybe it'll give you some ideas on how you can bolt it in the back of your rig Nothing real special um, for the piece right here, and it does clear the uh, the trunk when it closes perfectly. So this is your trim piece um, from the factory, and I don't think you can, oh, maybe right in there you can see um, there are about, was it six Phillips screws that hold that into place? So what I did was I pulled the screws out of the ends on both sides, and then I just drilled a hole all the way down. Underneath the trunk, there's like a void, and then a cross member. It's not a really thick cross member, it's like a stamped steel piece. Um, and then it comes out the bottom. I did have to use a longer than standard drill bit, like a six or eight inch drill bit. I'm not certain, and these are, I believe, 5 16 bolts. So I just ran the bolt all the way through, fender washer and lock nut on the bottom on both sides and you can see um, yeah I used ratchet straps you can use bungee cords pretty much anything really and then in the back we'll pop this one loose so we can move out of the way um, I do or I did have the parcel shelf that pops up and mounts up here we never really used it and so I, I just got rid of it um, because it kind of rolls off the end and I don't know, I just don't like it. Supposedly there's a f trim piece that fits back here. Um, if you didn't have one that came with a parcel shelf, but I haven't been able to find one, and I haven't been able to come up with a suitable remedy to, to close all this up. Anyway, um, if you'll look right here, this underneath is a tie down pocket. Um, there's a little D-ring in there um, that was held, to, held in with a bolt. All I did was pull that bolt out. I think it was a uh, eight mil, and I got another uh, same threaded bolt, a little bit longer, so that it would sink all the way down in there. And the same thing on the other side. Um, so you can again tie down whatever you want. Um, super secure. This setup worked extremely well when we were down in Tennessee and uh, I've used it for a lot of other things since actually I'm going to the when we go on normal road trips the fridge doesn't come with us usually the dog is sitting here so I'm actually going to uh, fab up some kind of a, a divider so that I can keep luggage from <laughs> spilling over on top of him and I'm gonna get some of those threaded inserts that go in here so that I can put L brackets on whatever the divider I make and bolt it to their front and rear and uh, we'll have a nice little uh, compartment um, that he won't have to worry about stuff crashing into him. So like I said, quick little video just uh, talking about the old Unistrut and how I used it in the back of the 4Runner. Um, honestly, I kind of wish I had thought of it 
in some of my other rigs. Uh, it was kind of a no-brainer, obviously, when I came across it. And uh, it's incredibly strong, it's incredibly sturdy, and very cheap. I think standard lengths are like 12 foot lengths, and it was $18 probably, um, is what it ended up being. And then, uh, you know, a few dollars in hardware. So, hopefully that will give you guys some good ideas if you've got other uh, like-minded ideas for that. Be sure to drop them down in the comments down below, along with questions, as usual. More detailed stuff, email me, hawkeyeskunkworks at gmail.com. I always respond to emails. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, hit the bell so you'll get notified when I upload a video every Sunday because if I'm honest, it's actually Sunday right now and I need to get this edited and uh, posted up to you guys. It's been a busy week. Uh, if you could see my garage right now, it look, looks like it threw up everywhere. It's, it's been busy. So. Um, head on over to Instagram and Facebook, there's links uh, in the description for that as well, and the, the videos about the Costway Fridge. Very popular item, and it has served me very, very well. So watch those videos if that's of interest to you. Until next week, take care, thank you for watching, see you then, goodbye.